We are now tracking Hurricane Elsa. It looks like it's about to make landfall next to Barbados. So it's a really powerful storm right now, and that will continue as it heads towards Haiti, where it could still be a Category 1 hurricane with sustained winds at 75 miles an hour. It will become a tropical storm as it goes over land and loses some of its steam. But as it heads towards the Florida Peninsula and into the lower parts of Georgia, still could be a tropical storm, especially as it heads towards Savannah. Now we are in this forecast cone um, here in central Georgia, but again, this is a cone of uncertainty, so all this can change. This is a few days out, so don't be too concerned about this cone of uncertainty right now because that could change in the, oh, the next few days. So here is a timing of what could be the GFS versus the Euro. So GFS has this storm staying south and getting stronger as it heads into the Gulf of Mexico. But the Euro says, hey, this ridge of high pressure over here in the Atlantic Ocean is going to weaken. And so this storm will move north and kind of dissipate a little bit. So if we're tracking through the GFS, it's going to become a strong storm as it makes its way into the United States. Now we can see another high pressure system that's over the central part of the United States that may be a steering factor in this case. So if this high pressure is strong enough, it may keep that storm to the south and not through central Georgia. But again, we will see as we go into the next few days. We are into the E named storm right now. That is Elsa. So we've gone through one through five. The thing about Elsa is that this storm is actually the earliest named E storm on record and Elsa is a hurricane now and that's actually a month ahead of what usually what time usually hurricanes happen. So Elsa is very unique in itself and we will be checking this on 13 WMAZ online and on the app.